Welcome to Sports News. South Africa has emerged winner of the 2014 African Athletics Championship in Marrakesh, Morocco. The country finished top of the overall medals table with 10 gold, 5 silver and 4 bronze, totaling 19 medals. Nigeria came second with 8 gold, 9 silver and 7 bronze with a total of 24 medals. Kenya is third with 7 gold, 8 silver and 10 bronze. Botswana follows with 4 gold, 1 silver and 4 bronze medals, while Cote d'Ivoire is fifth with 3 gold, 4 silver and 1 bronze. South Africa has been chosen to host the next edition of the championship in 2016. A former Nigeria Football Federation President Aminu Megari has been reinstated. Addressing a news conference in Abuja, the Minister of Sports and Chairman National Sports Commission Tamunu Danagogo says the Nigerian football house has to be in order as it prepares for the NFF elections. Danagogo also announced that a, a sports court of arbitration will be established to address future sports disputes in the country. Well, five players have been dropped from the Golden Eaglets as they step up their preparations for an African Championship qualifier against Gabon in September. The players are Ebije Yahaya, Prince Omosowofa, Chinedu Madweke, Kingsley Ohiri and Kabiru Mohamed. The five who were given the marching orders have significantly dropped in form and have contributed little to the fortunes of the team in recent times. The Golden Eaglets dispatched Congo Democratic Republic on a 4 nil aggregate early this month. In the English Premier League, Manchester City begin their title defence with a tricky road trip to Newcastle. FA Cup winners Arsenal face Crystal Palace, Chelsea visit Burnley, Liverpool host Southampton, Manchester United trade tackles with Swansea and West Ham will confront Tottenham. Leicester City will battle Everton. Super Eagles' Brown Adair is set to make his Premier League debut when West Brom take on Sunderland. Another Super Eagles striker, Sazio Demwinge, is listed in Stoke City's squad that will lock horns with Aston Villa. Meanwhile, Uruguayan striker Luis Suarez started training today with Barcelona after the Court of Arbitration for Sport removed the clause which blinded him from any football-related activity. The move follows an appeal by the Uruguayan Football Association on Suarez's behalf. The 27-year-old remains ineligible to play in official matches during the four-month period. He was banned for four months without, play, pay, for, without playing or training after biting Italy defender Giorgio Chiellini during the World Cup group game on June the 24th, which Uruguay won 1-0. Uh, that's it on Sports News. Amarachi will be back shortly. On the foreign scene, the EU has condemned what it describes as atrocities and abuses committed against religious minorities by Islamic State militants. Christian and Yazidi people in northern Iraq have faced persecution by the jihadists, prompting U.S.-led airstrikes and air aid drops. In an emergency meeting of the 28 EU states in Brussels, countries were left to individually decide whether to arm Iraq's Kurds, the IS main opponents in the north. IS-led violence has forced whole communities of Yazidis and Christians to flee in the north, along with Shia Iraqis, whom IS does not regard as true Muslims. In New York, the UN Security Council also imposed sanctions on IS and another group. Well, to entertainment now, legendary disc jockey Jimmy Jack celebrates his 25th anniversary in the music industry. Olga Chukwasi has more on this and other stories. Thank you so much. Now, here are the trending entertainment stories. Despite movie maker Kula Falanya's constant criticism of the government, he will not be seeking election into any public office. Now, the multiple award-winning producer and actor who had never shied away from calling out the shortcomings of the government told Entertainment News on Channel's television that he will not be following fellow actors Desmond Elliott and Kate Henshaw into the world of politics. Coming off the back of a reconciliatory meeting initiated by veteran musician Victor Owaifu, now the Unified Performing Musicians Association of Nigeria, PMAN, has lightened a unity touch ahead of the country's 54th 
independent celebration on October 1st. And a touch which the music body says bears a flame of peace will pass across the major cities in the country on its way to the federal capital territory on Independence Day when a free peace concert will hold to preach peace in Nigeria. Amen. May all those who seek her destruction not succeed. Amen. Legendary disc jockey Jimmy Jart is celebrating his 25th anniversary in the music industry with a brand new single, Body, and a new track which features new kids on the blog BOJ and LAX is yet another single of his sinful album titled Industry. Other singles released from the album are Glasses Up featuring Two Face, Sound Sultan, Bonner Boy, and a Young Breeze, and Farida, which features Skills. Morel and Kamal. And on the foreign scene, the Butler director Lee Daniels is facing a $25 million lawsuit over claims he failed to pay back or give production credit to hip hop and fashion entrepreneur Damon Dash after Dash invested millions of dollars in his project. Attorney for Dash, the former manager and business partner of rapper Jay Z, filed a suit in New York State Court in Manhattan claiming Dash helped fund the production of several films and television projects, including The Butler, Precious, and Paperboy. But that's all on entertainment news. The News at 10 continues shortly. At the main news again, with global attention targeting quick control of Ebola virus disease, experts have estimated that it will take at least six months to check the outbreak. And the Lagos State Government has debunked claims that Ebola patients are being neglected. Contrary to concerns raised by the victims' families, Governor Babatunde Fashola insists the state has the capacity to look after them. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thank you for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani. Up next is Metrofile.